Hey guys, back at Brody Harley Davidson. We're now on the top of the line models, the full dresser, the touring model. This is the most expensive Harley with the most options you can buy this side of a CEO. Jimmy Maroney's third generation Harley Davidson specialist is going to give us a rundown on this new bike. Jimmy, tell us what's new on this bike. Well, on the new Ultra Limited, what they really did is kick it up a notch. Uh, I wouldn't like to call it the grandpa bike, but it's it's the Cadillac. It's the loaded Usually motorcycle. Usually only grandpa can afford this one. <laughs> I think maybe that's why we would all no say one's got 35 it. Uh, one of the biggest features is they went with a full black Limited. Uh, from motor all the way back, exhaust, rev rails, uh, back rails, sorry. All latches, hinges, they just they piece it together again. Uh, they're, they're going full. It black looks out. badass for a full dresser. It looks beautiful. I mean, if you can get the right light and capture the color that you're looking at, can you see it, it close? really is. Uh, you know, something to, to talk about is Harley's paint. You always say it's the best quality. It's look, the at the, best look at the fit and finish. Fit and finish. This smells like the inside of a new high-end BMW or a suitcase or something. <laughs> the, the, wow. the color options this year are just through the roof. Uh, they, they really brought it up another level. Um, something to really go over is one of the biggest features for touring bikes uh, is the addition of a traction control system that's called RDRS, Reflex Defensive Rider System. Uh, what that does is uh, we can go on for hours, but uh, it's an adaptive ABS system and traction control. So it's got numerous features to keep you cornering and not having your ABS become active and wanting to stand the bike up and go straight. It's going to let you actually stay cornering while your tire may slide or hit something unexpected. Uh, and it goes for ABS as well as uh, downshifting really hard, dump the clutch. It's going to act almost as a slipper clutch. It's going to keep the tire to the ground without slipping. That's just one of the many features. It's on, off, and the rain mode for any touring guy that's going to get stuck out in the road in bad weather. Uh, and it's the addition of that beautiful button right there. Uh, some of the other features uh, that were available last year, but if anyone had an older tourer bike and had that touchscreen radio, not the most intuitive. Uh, they really brought it up a level with how fast it responds and simplicity. With wow. Apple Play, you can pair not only just your phone, you can pair anything you need, as well as always just USB plug your phone in, tuck Beautiful. it out of the way. Beautiful. They really want you guys to remember. Is that Bluetooth? You can Bluetooth to it? Also. You can Bluetooth. Uh, and again, Apple Play, if you're not familiar, it's beautiful. It basically puts your phone on the screen so you don't have to touch your phone anymore. Wow. From, from text message reading, whatever Apple you need. Though, huh? You do need an Apple you phone for an Apple Play. Um, the fit and finish up here is spectacular. It's a gloss oh, black. Dude. And nice GPS, GPS, too, right? GPS is standard GPS. on this, of course. Yep. Uh, tire pressure monitoring system, as you can see, it just says low. This bike's still not PDI'd yet. Um, it'll always bring you to the closest fuel station. It's just got so many bells and whistles to keep you moving. Is that the standard size windshield? I like that it's so you can look over it, not through it. On the, on the Ultra Limiteds, they do stick to this height stream. Uh, if you notice on some of the standard street glides that we can look at inside, they come with the smaller, about four and a half inch. Is there storage in the front compartment here too? No, because these are wet heads. It is the uh, um, cylinders have coolant running through them? Oh uh, wow! I'm sorry, not cylinders. The heads have. It's a wet head design. So, it's liquid so it is cold. liquid air. Yep. Liquid air. Uh, wow. So that is actually a fan system. If you peek your eye in there, uh, that has a little mini radiator to keep things cool, and the other side's got fuel. We all know if you're, if you're at Sturgis or Daytona sitting in traffic with a big twin, there it is. that's a nice piece to have there. That's uh, George, their lead mechanic here, the horsepower man. He uh, he always told me he said. You gotta shut your motor down in traffic. Shut it down or get moving. It's like the worst thing for it, right? Worst thing. But now, now they've, they've kind of uh, they've done away with that by they, having the, the, they, the. They did that for the guys touring too. You're riding across Arizona desert, wherever you may be. Uh, that, that sometimes are 110, 120 degrees of moving air. How do you cool down a bike that's running at that temperature? So that's their design and reasoning behind that. A lot of people say oh, it's a liquid cooled Harley, but trust me, they're there to keep this bike rolling longer. The brakes, the brakes and the suspension on these are second. You've still got right? the, yeah, 2008 and up always come with the Brembo design brakes for Harley. You can't compete, the shop, like shower you said. forks and the Brembo base, that's like race quality stuff. Internals of the forks on the touring bikes all have a full cartridge system. They're, you know, they're dampening. It's not just the old style spring and pogo stick. You hit the brake, it dive. In the, in the past, um, you have to buy an old one's fork to get the kind of performance you're getting out of the box. Out of so. the box, not much need to rush you. Huge improvement um, suspension. You now, other than the fit and finish of the black on this, you, know, you go to the front, so in addition to the best shower suspension money can buy, the best Brembo base money can buy, killer tires, awesome fit and finish, heated grips, heated grips, uh, custom seats, the yep. lighting package. Tell us about that. Come up front. It's uh, it's LED from the factory for good reason. Wow. Um, Look at that. 
That's it lit up. I don't know if the camera captures it better on or off, but they get the black interior housings too. Beautiful. You know, they don't want chrome anywhere. Rings. Beautiful. Uh, even just lightly smoked turn yeah. signal. Black lenses. is the new chrome, right? That's <laughs> the new chrome. Uh, it's here to stay, and people are loving it. So. Jimmy, um, these lights are extremely expensive. You had to buy yeah. the, the set to upgrade your old that's lights. A, that's a, a solid six six hundred dollar headlight. Before these are probably I think four to five hundred just for the pair. You got eleven hundred dollars of these. <laughs> just LEDs, unmounted yeah. grand in, in three three lights. Yeah. That's the best lighting money can buy, and that, really that's a big is. safety feature too, isn't it? It is. Uh, seeing at night and a guy that's buying this bike in the limited is going touring. You're riding day, night, rain, you name it. Uh, they're gonna want to see it every hour of the day, no matter the condition. That's awesome. Yeah. What color is this one? Oh boy. This is considered so black and a dark, dark River color. Rock Gray. Uh, in black, two tone. River Rock Gray. Beautiful. Beautiful color. I mean, we had a little more sunlight, but it really is just a, their colors are just going through the roof. Speaking of colors and knowing what fully loaded, you're still coming with a 114. 114. You rode that in the uh, in the Lowrider S, six speed train. Plenty is there. of power. You can go as fast as you want to go. Is there. Yeah. You can't beat it. But speaking of colors, you can't not look at the new road glides. Yeah, let's talk about this. What's what's the big difference between these two, Jimmy? Well, these two models. As far as chassis, motor, the same. You've got 114s, but going to that fixed fairing on a road glide is a real big uh, game changer on Harley's part, but it's a personal preference too. Explain, so, explain to the people at home here, what's the difference between the, the frame mount fairing and this one? What, so what, is, what is the difference? That's a major difference features in the bike, right? One of the features is while you're riding it and you turn, you're riding, you're tuning your bike, this is all fixed to your bars. It's all one piece. Mounted to the handlebars. Mounted the handlebar. to the bars, everything, one big unit. Uh, that is a nice thing. It's very You'll feel easy. a gust of wind on this a little more than you now, will on that, right? bingo. Say you're passing an 18-wheeler, a car comes the other way, just a side wind. Yep. Uh, if it hits one of these sides the better, I mean, this is just a, my pinky finger. I can move the bars from up here, so think of what a good gust of wind this would do. This is a more traditional style. It's a more Harley traditional, thing, right? very easy ride. What's this one over here? Check this out. And then when you get on the road glide, once you're on the road glide, your bars are not touching that there. Uh, now what that's going to do is create a more stable ride and a more consistent downforce with the wind pressure. So as you're, say, doing 60 miles per hour and that wind's giving you downforce, it's predictable. You get a gust of wind come in, your bars won't move. Cody, take a look at the front here. It's uh, definitely not the traditional Harley. It has more like, it looks more like a shark. The Mako shark, a, yeah, you Mako could call shark it. Yeah, it's, it's very it's, aggressive brow. Very, very, very aggressive. Very badass looking. It's just a very, mean bike. Uh, I, would say, I would say this is a more modern look, right? It's definitely a more sharp, modern look. On top of the color, again, as we keep talking about colors, they call this billiard red. A lot of different pool ball colors coming into the mix. They have billiard blue. And it still has um, all the, so have all the componentry that you get on the, on that frame. You have absolutely. Less, this is no. the same stereo the same. you have on that. Given that bike has back speakers in the yep. tour pack, so it's only two speakers. Does this one come with the tour pack stuff too? You, get, you can this? get that exact limited in a road glide. So on. you can get, have that you can get this this bike exactly like that, but with this fairing. So I have that exact twin inside with with a road glide. Fairing. Yes. Uh, and again, it's, it's personal preference. It's, it is probably one of the most popular Harleys on the road, at least in our area. Yep. Their touring bikes are through the roof. Uh, and once you ride one, you realize, yes, it's a big bike. It looks heavy. You ride it, you notice it. This you is saw before, one. I can still light a tire up. It'll still do oh, it. Yeah. It is still a very nimble still handling easy. bike. Absolutely. You go up through the mountains on this bike, and you will still be wowed on how capable they are. Very, very and I, I think most people start on a sport cert, although I'm not going to say it's a beginner's bike, because that could be the fastest one of the bunch. Absolutely. Working not. their way up to a, 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 a soft tail, and then eventually this is what everybody this has over. Dream. So if you want to cut right to the chase, just step up by a road glide or They're a They're easy ride uh, bikes. They're the most stable. The, the, uh, the weight is a, an advantage. A lot of people get fixed on weight. Don't look at curve weights. Ride it. Or, or uh, if, you buy, if you actually ride a bike like Christy and I do, yeah. two up. Yeah. You're gonna need a set of saddlebags. So if you Absolutely. buy a stripped down bike like the Low Rider S, it's gonna look like this anyway. You're, you're gonna it's put it together. It's never gonna yeah. match the same as this. Yeah, you exactly. Know, they, they have these nice cutouts. That's where the docking hardware goes in. Very nice, tight fit and finish. Well, what goes on here? Uh, they, these pop out, and that's where the docking hardware goes in for your four point. Okay. Uh, I can show you inside on so a couple. So for your back, back yeah, rest. Yeah, for any detachable. Else. You can do a detachable back um, luggage rack. You can do an entire tour pack if you choose. Again, seats always interchangeable. Uh, another pretty cool feature they did. A lot of guys complained over the years. Two features while doing it. Saddlebags falling off. Everyone hated those little Zerk oh, yeah, fittings. These are now just a simple, real simple design. Wow, that's Unscrew pretty cool. and you're good. On top of that, I put this on my foot. Here's your shock adjustment. 
So Again, if, Harley's yeah. focus back so to suspension. So if you want to take that into the hotel, you can just pop it right off. Pop and take it right it in, off, use, it, it use it like and luggage. you know it's tight. That's Here's a, your shock adjuster. So you have that's a That's a nice shock looking shock right loop. there. Look at that. This then. is on five. You see that adjuster with some numbers. We're on five out of 20. So you can still add preload so like five, I showed you on the So is five the softest setting? Five's going to be the softest. Um, on standard, I'd set it up between 10 and 15 at minimum for a solo rider. Yep. Still push that up to 20. You're getting the benefits of not having to buy another set of shocks just There's to get a little th extra There's another $1,000 savings right there. A good set of it's shocks. It's a good set of shocks to add up grand. quick. Um, Why is the other side mounted right side up and this one's upside down? Kind of funny. It's a clearance issue, I believe. Uh, okay. I don't want to say die hard why, but... We've, uh, we've seen other people try to flip them, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, but there's only one preload adjuster on it, which is uh, all you need, and it makes a heck of a ride quality difference. The, the back look of this right here, um, people were taking Road Kings and uh, dressers and ordering bagger kits that drop the bag down to give you the cutout look Correct. and the wide fender. It comes from the factory. You see, Harley Davidson listens to their riders. They go to Daytona, they go to Laconia, they're at all events, they see what you're doing. And when a trend really takes off, this is a timeless style. I'm not sure, is there a name for this, a, a tail dragger? Or? Not necessarily, they just added stretched bags is all they're calling them, factory stretched. Uh, some of the models still come with the flat bottoms. I, I like I, that. That one has a flat bottom. There you go. There's perfect reference. This one has the cutout. I think yep. this is just uh, a little okay. more of a custom. Look. Yeah, a little more custom, aggressive, sporty look to go with the the. And I see the the, the, the seat is has a more of a uh, what do they call it? A gunfighter. Yeah, yeah. Sleek, tight looking, uh, nice schedule. Uh, Another bike. All you gotta do is add a set of pipes for it, and you're good to go. Beautiful machine. In addition to all the improvements we already talked about and the differences between these two, this has a special set of wheels. Jimmy, what's going on with these wheels? Well, the specials, they, find, uh, they, they did redesign them. Uh, and I like them, and I've got a beautiful set of bronze ones inside. you got to check them out. They are just sharp as it's going to get. And we plan on doing a build with a road glide this summer. Uh, sorry, this winter. And like a dark burgundy red with that bronze wheel. But the new layout, kind of a cross spoke. Uh, much, much a little more sportier looking. Killer Brembo brakes, shower force. These are cartridge force too. This is going to handle like a set of Olins. Yep. 100 miles an hour, rock solid, stable, stable no gets. wobbling, nothing. Yeah. Plenty of power. Uh, it's probably the most comfortable, easy to ride touring bike you're going to get on. One of this, just so easy handling, great through the mountains. You know, I really dig this fairing. It's just something about it. Grows on. It's farther away than yep. that one. And I'm a pretty big dude, so I just feel more comfortable on this yeah. with, with a set of highway pegs. If you're, if you're over six feet tall, put a set of yep. highway pegs on here. You're cold the seating position, the bars, everything's right where it's supposed to be. Um, just a beautiful piece. Yeah. I had a road glide. I had a blue, a blue road glide, an older one, and I fell in love with the stereo and yep. the fairing. It's, it's just awesome. Fixed fairing stability is key. Uh, having the full info system uh, is just a game changer that they're bringing the technology up to levels. People are demanding it. But, you know, always going to urge. Put your phone down and go ride. Uh, you always have your USB connections, just like the other bike. It's right in this glove compartment here. And still, throw your phone in, let it charge, listen to your tunes. Guys, before we wrap up this video, Jimmy's going to show us the full dress version of the Road Glide yeah. fairing inside and a couple of other really cool things. Uh, gold rims on them, custom factory models and everything. So, come on inside. Uh, there's some really cool stuff you got to check out inside here. I think we should show them some of your vintage stuff too. Yeah, we might have to take a ride for that. I think we're gonna. Is that, is this gonna be good? <laughs> Guys, this, 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 Jimmy comes from a long line of Harley aficionados. He was, his mom worked here. She went into labor with him here. So he was here the whole nine months <laughs> in her belly. And it came back one week later, seven days, they put him to work. So he's been, he's been working here for 33 years. Yeah. <laughs> so this, so much heritage in this building. Hopefully we'll catch a piece of it to share with you. Come on inside, you gotta check it out. I'm standing on the curb, I feel taller. <laughs> Ooh, look at these guys. These are all the 2020s in the middle. This one really caught my eye when I came in. This is a, this is a new color, I think, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, new for the fat bob. Yeah, kind of a race orange. Race orange and black. What a stunning piece. Beautiful. Just pops. One of my favorite color copies on, on, a, on a performance Harley. Right. You see up there, there's some really cool bicycles and a pretty cool on that sportster. K model the green green uh, uh yeah first year sportster um that was actually the first motorcycle ever sold from my grandfather 
Not wow. that exact one, but the same exact bike. Dark green, that exact That was the first bike you that sold? That was the yeah. first Harley Davidson ever sold from us. Uh, from yeah, yeah, yeah. 1956. No, in, 56. in 57, yeah. 56 open business, got 57s yeah. on the floor. Yeah. A lot of heritage here. You're looking, we, and we were a Schwinn dealer prior, and so a couple of Schwinns, we were a bike that store originally. So show us the uh, new full dresser, uh, since we're on the full dresser video. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is that exact twin to the uh, Ultra Limited outside, but in the Road Glide option, Road Glide Limited. Uh, as you can see, that uh, same color, fixed fairing. Fixed fairing. The fairing is the same. Is it the same on this? Uh, the, the, the yes. The, yes. So the main difference is, are you get the, the uh, backpack? You're gonna get the full tour pack, full tour pack. luggage rack, luggage track. hinges. Um, you're gonna get. The, oh, and you get the, the lowers too. The other one, the, the other road bikes didn't have yeah, lowers, right? Thing. You get the lowers. Um, you do. All the bikes have the option for the RGRS system, which is that uh, rider uh, reflex dynamic rider system. Um, so that's an option. On all bikes come standard on some of the higher ends like the CVOs. Uh, we ordered these with it. Very cool. Yeah. Where are the rims you wanted to show us? Right on that wall behind you. What do you call what do you call it? Yeah, I'd have to dig up the clip there. Are those for uh, they're, they're just road they're, I mean they're bronze, they're any touring wheel, uh, cush drive wheel. Is that the same color as the Dyn the Glow Rider S? It is a little different. I tried to match them up, it's not the same. Oh you did these? No, 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 they're factories from Harley Davidson. They're, oh, wow. they're actually kicking up their. So if you uh, buy a black. Uh, you buy this bike, we'll you happily can put, put them on for you. Boy, would it look sharp. Though. It is a really uh, cool look. Just every color, I think bronze will match. I dig it. It's definitely uh, awesome. They, they kicked up their bars inventory. They've got a lot of really trick bars, a lot of nice bar risers, especially for the Dyna soft tail guys. Awesome. Uh, they really brought in a lot of more modern designing. If we go down the line here, um, these are all 2020 yeah. uh, touring models. Standard. This is uh, uh, like the road bike outside that didn't have a tour pack. This is the, the entry level. This is one. the absolute entry level touring bike. Uh, has no radio. This is just bringing back the. Uh, just bringing back the. You know, uh, these are these are 19 oh, grand. That's a pretty reasonable yeah. price. The electric glide standard. You is, know, they lower did they lower the price on these also a little bit or? Uh, since this came out, that was the the main target price, which gets you into a touring bike for 19,000. 18,999. 18,9. How can you beat that? Full touring bike with a 107, still beyond capable. Why buy? Why buy a used one? <laughs> exactly. You know? And it's going to hold its value too. Absolutely. Uh, going down the line, what's Keep this one? Keep going down. We've got a, uh, another street glide special. Specials mean just like the road glide outside. You're going to have the full radio uh, info system. Whether this one does not have the RD RS system. Um, but it's going to come with those same wheels that we saw on the road glide out front. It's going to come with the black inner fairing uh, that they went back to a gloss finish with a beautiful over standard plastic. Um, really, again, Brembo's, Showa Forks, All cartridge black damp, too. and black from front to back. This one here, what is this? this is the same thing you looked at outside. Uh, and again, color. road glide special, uh, but that's in the matte silver, kind of the silver denim. And this is the soft tail touring model, right? This there you go, that's the new heritage. Very beautiful. This to me is similar soft tail that you rode. It looks like a 49 Hydro Glide, the front end, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. They, they keep it nostalgic. That hold they sell, uh, everything about it from studded bags, that is, there's a reason it's called the Heritage. If you like old school traditional Harley looks, there's nothing finer than the Heritage soft tail, unless you're sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Probably one of the best riding soft tails I've put my leg over oh. is that motorcycle. Okay. I actually would have to say, uh, bar none on it. As far as cornering ability and overall comfort going down the road, Old school hardtail look when you get the Rambo brakes, you get the shower suspension, yep. you get the Milwaukee 8 motor and the modern technology and electronics, Here's that. bulletproof reliability. So, yeah. huge. And you know what? This one's only 19,000 too. Uh, Comparable to speaking of hills. Yeah. You can't, how can you go wrong? That's a kick ass machine. Yeah. And then you get into all the other ones. Yeah, yeah, this is a breakout 114. It's going to be that more drag style, uh, forward controls, low bars, drag bars, big wide rear tire. Look at the color. Wow. Yes, this has the 114. Wow, they're huge. Um, yeah. Awesome piece. Yeah, it's going to be your drag uh, your drag special here, for sure. Thanks for letting us demo no, the new model today. I had a blast. Yeah, I'm happy, man. Thank we'll you very much for month. coming in. We'll be back next month. Maybe we'll check out some yeah. snowmobiles. Oh, sure. They do snowmobiles here, too. Oh, boy, do we? <laughs> so stay tuned, and God bless America.